Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to talk about simplifying rational expressions. So you're going to need your notes, pen and or pencil, and a calculator. Let's get started. Here we go. What is a rational expression? So make sure we get this down, please, okay? A rational expression is a fraction. What we're going to do with these fractions will contain numbers, variables, terms, polynomials. And to simplify them, we need to understand how to simplify fractions, how to correctly cancel things. This is really important, correctly cancel things. And your favorite thing in the entire world, you have to know how to factor. It is back, ladies and gentlemen. Factoring is back. All right. Now, first thing we're going to talk about is make sure we know how to simplify a fraction. Now, if we think about this, an incorrect way to make 10 over 12 would be to say, okay, 7 plus 3 and 9 plus 3, that 7 plus 3 equals 10 and 9 plus 3 equals 12. They have threes in common, but, you guys, whenever there's an addition sign or a subtraction sign, we cannot cancel things. All right? Now, the correct way to break down 10 and 12 would be 2 times 5 equals 10 and 2 times 6 equals 12. Now that we are multiplying two things together, we can cancel out our twos, and if we would simplify 10 over 12, it would be 5, 6. So, we can't cancel terms, so that's like adding and subtracting, but we can cancel factors, so we're talking about multiplication. Right? That's very, very, very important for us to know. All right, I'm going to do four examples with you now. You have to get all four examples in your notes. First one, we need to simplify this one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about factoring. Okay, greatest common factoring, perfect squares, AC method, the box, all of those. This one, we have to factor the top and the bottom, and the only thing we can do is take out a greatest common factor. Biggest number that can go into 40 and 20 is 20. So I'm going to have 20, and then inside I'm going to have 2x plus 1. On the bottom here, my biggest number I can take out of 10 and 30 is 10. So then I'm going to have x plus 3. Now I can start simplifying. Whenever I simplify, the first thing I need to do is look at my numbers out in front. So 20 over 10, I can simplify this. 10 goes into both. So on the top here, I'm going to get 2. On the bottom, I'm going to get 1. Now, you don't have to put the 1 there if you don't want to. That's fine. If we look here, these would have to be the same to cancel. Since they're not the same, we're going to keep both of them. So this is going to be 2x plus 1. And on the bottom, I'm going to have x plus 3. All right, moving on to... Then now it's done, ladies and gentlemen. We can't go any further here. So now, on to example number 2. Here we go. This one here, once again, we're just going to take out greatest common factor. On the top, greatest common factor, numbers... I can take out 2, so I'm going to leave 2 out in front. As far as variables, they both have an x, so I can take out x. So put 2x. Now this is times. Since I'm multiplying, those are separate factors, so we can start simplifying things. What's left is going to be x plus 4. On the bottom here, we can't simplify 12x, but we can say it's 12 times x, because those are separate factors. Now when I go to simplify this, do my numbers first. So 2 and 12. Well, I can simplify that to 1 over 6. Next, I have an x on the top and the bottom. So they're going to cancel each other out. So my x's go away. Last thing I have on top is going to be x plus 4. Now, I can't simplify this any further, so this is going to be 
my answer. All right, that's all for that one. Example number three. Have to simplify first, so we have to factor these out. The top one, greatest common factor. I can take out two out of both of them, and I can take out an x out of both of them. So when I rewrite this, I'm going to get 2x on the outside. Leftover is going to be x plus 5. Now on the bottom, we have a trinomial, so I'm going to have to use AC method. So if I use AC method on this one right here, A times C has to add up to B. 3 times 5, so I have 15. The factors of 15 that add up to 5, or excuse me, that add up to 16, are 15 and 1. So if I plug this all into my box, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we keep these two. We change the center, so I have 3x squared. 15x and 1x and then 5. Take out my greatest common factor 1, 3x, x, and 5. So my factors that go on the bottom are 3x plus 1 and x plus 5. Now, since these factors are the same right here. I have an x plus 5 and an x plus 5 on the bottom. Those can be canceled because they are the exact same factor. If there's the exact same thing on the top and the bottom, we can cancel them out. Now, that leaves us with on the top I have 2x and on the bottom I have 3x plus 1. Since these are the exact same thing on the top and bottom, this is where I'm going to leave my answer. All right, moving on to our last example, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Now, we have to think back. Factoring is very important. You guys, we know all our ways to factor because on the top here, we have a perfect square. Now, remember, perfect square, we have to have subtraction, and then this number here has to be a perfect square, and 49 is a perfect square. So to factor this, I have x plus 7, and I have x minus 7. So my top is factored. On the bottom, I have to factor that. But we have to think, ladies and gentlemen, 2, 4, and 70, we can take out a greatest common factor of 2. So we have to do that first. So we can't forget about our super annoying brother or sister. So that's 2 times the quantity x squared minus 2x minus 35. Now, just so that I don't forget about that super, super annoying brother or sister, I'm going to put it down here right away because that has to go on the bottom. Now I'm just going to worry about acing this trinomial here. So if I take A times C, add it up to B, I have negative 35 and negative 2. Two factors of negative 35 that add up to negative 2, negative 7 and 5. If I add those together, I get negative 2. Plug it into my box. So I have x squared, negative 7x, 5x, and negative 35. Taking my greatest common factor here. Here we get 5x, x, negative 7. Write my factors down here. I have x plus 5 and x minus 7. Now I can start canceling terms that are exactly the same. So on the top and the bottom, I have an x minus 7. They're exactly the same, so I can cancel them out. Nothing else is exactly the same. So when I rewrite this on the top, I'm going to have x plus 7. On the bottom, I'm going to have 2, because we can't forget about that super annoying brother or sister, right? We have to bring him with us, times the quantity x plus 5. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our answer. And that is all I have for you wonderful people today. Um, go out, enjoy your day, and I'll be seeing you later. Bye. Sorry.